Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing a different kind of video. I thought this would be a really fun and quick video to film and share with you guys. Um, in the past week I bought a lot of coffee <laughs> and I decided it would be a great idea to show you all the coffees that I got. So I ran out of coffee for my Keurig. I have a Keurig. Um, and I purchased some stuff from the Keurig.com website because whenever you register your Keurig, you get the coupon code for buy two get two free, which is so awesome because on the Keurig website, you get more for your money. So like, you get like a 24 K cup box for like 14 bucks, and then a Publix or your local grocery, um, for I think for like a 10 pack, it's like. $12 or something. It's it's extreme. I just think that it's so expensive So I try to get my coffee out of the Keurig website because it is so much better for your money and you get more product So yeah, I'm gonna show you everything I got. Um, I'm gonna show you guys first the stuff I did not get from Keurig um, At my local grocery, which is called the Publix. They have this discount where it's or this promotion that is um, buy two Folgers K-Cup boxes and you get the third one for free. So I, I got some. So the first one that I got, which is the one I've been hunting down for like a month or so because it's always sold out everywhere, is the Folgers Gourmet Sugar Cookie. And since it's always sold out, I'm assuming it's really, really delicious. So I am so excited to try this one. I really hope it tastes like a sugar cookie, bakery, deliciousness, mm, oh my gosh. I absolutely love coffee, like I'm literally drinking coffee right now. Um, I have a little straw because I didn't want to ruin my lipstick, because yeah. But anyways, look at this mug. I'm obsessed with this mug. It's so pretty, I got it at Downtown Disney. Yeah. My chair keeps making a lot of noise today. <laughs> Alright, so the next coffee that I got from Folgers is the Vanilla Biscotti, which is my favorite coffee ever. This one and the Starbucks Caramel K-Cups are my top two favorite. Um, this is delicious. So I got Vanilla Biscotti, and then when I was ordering off the Keurig website, I really wanted to get the Folgers Hazelnut Cream, but I decided to get something else. So, I saw it and I picked it up. So this is the Hazelnut Cream by Folgers, which I haven't tried yet. The only one I've tried so far from Folgers has been the Vanilla, the vanilla Biscotti and it has not disappointed. So, I am hella excited for my coffees. Alright, so now moving on to what I got from the Keurig website. The first one I got is a sampler of the Green Mountain Coffee Southern Pecan. Yeah, Southern Pecan. Um, I think I've tried this before, but I'm not quite sure, so I got a small one just to make sure. This was like $5.99, so a dollar for a cake up. A dollar a coffee, which is still cheaper than Starbucks. Let me see what it looks like. Yeah, I don't think I've had this one before. It just says Southern Pecan, but I love pecans. Like, not by itself. But like pecans and something, I love. Next up, I got the Starbucks coffee. This is just the regular Pike Place roast um, medium coffee. And yeah, I like having, I like, this is what I do. I get like the majority of flavored coffee and then I get one just standard, regular, plain coffee with no extra flavor. So then I can add my own flavor and just make it taste however I want it to taste. So that is how I work. <laughs> so yeah, this is the regular no flavored Starbucks coffee and I'm very excited. I love Starbucks coffee. Like I absolutely love the taste of Starbucks coffee. Not like fraps and like lattes with all this sugar and syrup and they're, they're also really, really good. But I really like the taste of just their plain coffee. So I'm excited for this. Very excited. I think I know this is bad, like I have so many coffees. I have coffee for the next five, six months, but I really wanna get the Starbucks holiday coffee, but it's just so expensive, oh my God. Dude, that thing is like, I don't know, like $13 for one of these, not not two, one. And then Keurig didn't have it yet on their website, or I don't even know if they're gonna get it on their website. So that was kind of sad, but anyways, um, I got 
a lot of Green Mountain coffee and it was not my intention to get Green Mountain coffee like I just think Green Mountain coffee is really good but it's not like it's just coffee to me like Green Mountain coffee is just coffee like good tasting coffee but anyways I wanted to get some seasonal flavored coffees and they were the only ones who had seasonal flavored coffees because I do not like the Cafe Escapes brand oh, I hate the Cafe Escapes nope so yeah, so the first one of the Green Mountain coffees that I got is the Holiday Blend and this is a seasonal blend of medium and dark roast coffees featuring cheerfully bright and mild fruit notes. So yeah, I got this for Christmas and November and possibly January. <laughs> the next one that I got from Green Mountain Coffee is the Pumpkin Spice Coffee. I had to get a Pumpkin Spice Coffee. This was the only one on the Keurig website that actually had really good reviews and it looked legit. It was going to taste like Pumpkin Spice. So yeah. Oh, and this is a light roast coffee. I hate that the flavored coffees are normally light roast. I like, I like my coffees medium to dark. But whatever, I will do with you. I'm so excited. I really hope it tastes like fall. And then the last coffee that I got is the Autumn Harvest Blend. And this is a hearty blend of medium and French roast beans featuring juicy red fruit notes and a dark chocolate finish. Mmm, that sounds delicious. Um, yeah, another Green Mountain. Um, I really hope this tastes delicious because I haven't had this one. The only one I've had so far has been the Starbucks and the vanilla biscotti so I'm hoping I'm not sure all of these are gonna taste delicious but um yeah look how huge this is like this was only $14 I believe uh yeah $14.99 which is so cheap the only one that was more expensive out of all of these was the Starbucks because of the name Starbucks this was $17.99 for 24 cups of coffee so that's not bad at all it's like less than a dollar for each coffee so. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and my little coffee haul. If you have a Keurig, please let me know what your favorite coffee so far has been down below because I am definitely going to try it out if you say it's thebomb.com. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And I will also leave the giveaway that I am hosting currently on my channel down below so you guys can join in if you want to. And that is pretty much all. I love you guys so very much. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. And I will talk to you in my next video. Bye!